Good morning, brothers and sisters. Brother John here, Watchman for that great day. Today is November the 14th. It is possibly the seventh day of Sukkot. Now, I know that sounds outrageous, and it, it makes no sense, and it's outside the box, and name it for whatever it is, but the interesting thing about this is it's a study by, done by a man called Michael Shabbat's uh, Biblical Studies, and um, I, I pointed it out and I linked it in my last video, um, but you can go to that video. Um, it was now five or six days ago that he made the video. Very well, uh, thoroughly done. And uh, this isn't the first time I've, I've shared about this particular man's studies, but it, this last video makes a lot of sense. So if it's possible, and if we're stretching, you know, we're looking for anything, right, that's going to give us an edge or a clue or, or something uh, to his coming, to the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ's coming to take us. Because it's a day that's going to happen suddenly. It's going to happen without warning. It's going to happen on a regular day such as any other day that we could be raining, could be sunny, could be uh, everything going on is normal. And then the moment comes and it's a different day. As Brother James Smith says, it's the cloudy day. And if you're here, your life is going to be changed forever. If you're with the Lord, your life is going to be changed forever. Get it? The good or the missing of it, the bad, all right? Yet, there's still hope, even if you're left behind, but you'll, at that point, will have to make a decision that is a life and death decision. Right now, you still have grace to make that decision. There's still time to make a decision for Christ. But the time is so short, it is just so short. The the shape of the world and the way the world is right now at this very moment with the things going on in the uh, land of Israel and the Gaza and the missiles and the Hezbollah and the Hamas, Russia, China, uh, North Korea. I mean, there's new evidence every day going on that we're really not privy to that's behind the scenes that you know, you can't get enough news of breaking news, all right, until it actually happens, all right? When the bombs go, when the uh, missiles are being launched, that's a time of sudden destruction. So we're literally, literally living in a time of sudden destruction. But I'd like to bring you this thought this morning, because this is the reason for the video. And I'll, I'll uh, point out a few more specific points to uh, round off the, the video. But... The thought is that, first of all, that we're waiting for the day of Christ, not for the day of the Lord, all right? The day of Christ comes before the day of the Lord, all right? It's a deliverance. The day of Christ starts the beginning of the tribulation. Once the rapture happens, that's the beginning of tribulation. Whoever's left behind will be then in tribulation. And this will happen suddenly, without warning, at any moment. That's the times we're living in, brothers and sisters. Moment to moment, hour to hour, minute to minute, second to second at times. But the Lord is with us, all right? He has not left us or forsaken us. He is with us, and that moment is upon us. Now, if you're living out there uh, without knowing Jesus Christ at this point, you're playing Russian roulette, all right? And that chamber has more than one bullet, all right? There's only one chamber that's empty. The rest of them have the bullets, all right? So each time you, you know, the old story of the Russian roulette game where they give you a, a gun and it's got one bullet in the chamber and there's five chances you won't get it, well, there's, now there's, now there's only one chance, all right? So it really behooves whoever is out there who has not committed their life to Jesus Christ. In other words, ask him to come into your life. It's a simple thing to do. Ask him. But first you must repent of your sin. You must turn from the, from the, the way that you've been living your life. And that includes 
even those of us Christians, all right, that have sort of neglected God, sort of turned away from reading the Bible, turned away from studying the Word, turned away from having a close relationship with Jesus, okay? Doesn't mean you don't have one. It just means that maybe you need to recommit, all right? That's what I used to hear all the time in the church. When I used to go to church, how many people need to rededicate their life to the Lord Jesus, all right? This is a time right now, if you're living a life that is not exemplifying your Lord and Savior, Jesus, and your, the words of the Lord are not on the tip of your tongue, the, the, uh, the armor is not all the way on, you know, it's time, to, it's time to wake up and put that armor of God on. We're in a battle, and this battle's about to come quickly and swiftly to an end. What you're seeing in the earth and the world right now is the, is the beginning of a great battle. All right? This will not stop. Even Daniel tells us that, that wars and desolations are determined unto the end, all right? Even though they're going to be a, a particular time of peace and heaven will be shut up, all right, for a half an hour, which is three and a half years, as Brother James uh, uh, Smith just did a video, and uh, thank you, Brother James, for that very interesting thought. But um, it it makes sense that the half an hour, the seventh seal, is for the first half, all right? It, it, no one hears, the earth does not hear from heaven, all right? But the voice of heaven, the voice that will be in the earth would be the two witnesses during that time. And at their death, that's when the wrath of the Lamb, the wrath of God, comes on this earth, okay? So it ties back into the sixth seal. I know J Brother James didn't get into it, but I believe truly that the sixth seal is held back until the day that the two witnesses rise up, all right? That's the day, because there's a great earthquake when they do that. The city falls, 7,000 people are, are killed. This is just ahead of us, a few years ahead of us right now. That's how close we are. There is a time uh, 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 relative to this very moment right now, all right? And one of the times, and I explained this in my video the other day, that was the live video, that one of the times is basically connected to uh, Suleiman the Magnificent. You can look it up. He started to, he had dream back in 1500s. This was a sultan uh, uh, in the Ottoman Empire. And uh, uh, he, he uh, had these terrible dreams of lions chasing him down and tearing him to pieces and so he'd wake up all the time and he finally cried out to his God what he believed was God was Allah and he asked what should he do to stop this dream and uh, he was told in a voice came back to him rebuild the city and the streets the city walls and the streets so 1535 was exactly 483 years from this year that's important if you know the prophecy of Daniel. And that was connecting to a first time when the decree went forth in, in Daniel 9.25, uh, I'm sorry. Know therefore and understand from the going forth of the decree or the command or the word, all right, unto Messiah, all right, and it, it worked out that way from the time of Jesus, but in our era, in the time that we're, we're understanding now, the second fulfillment of Daniel, that took place and it brings us to 2018. Now, that alone brings you to the general year, but what I shared with, with everyone the other day, which is pretty magnificent, and it was just nothing on my own part, but just studying and, and found this PDF, and it, it basically related to the time of the the decree that came forth by the power of the government of Jerusalem, of Israel, all right, to decree that the, uh, the company for reconstruction and development in Israel, in the Jewish quarter, was founded and decreed on a very day of September the 8th, 1968. So they truly, after 1967, the Six-Day War, they truly held Jerusalem, 
they gave up certain rights and gave them to the different uh, uh, Islamic nations, uh, Jordan, and to keep peace and all that. But they did control Jerusalem. So it was 1968, September the 8th, that that, that, that word, that very word, uh, the decree, the command, went forth in the modern day of Israel, in the 70th, uh, in, the, in the generation that Israel would be counting off, all right? So here we are at the 70th year, and it basically uh, brought us uh, 49 years and 62 weeks brings us to the 16th of November. That is just amazing, all right? Because uh, there's got to be some sort of a fulfillment to bring us back to the seven-year uh, uh, point at which the, the confirmation of a covenant is confirmed, all right, or made strong, strengthened, all right? So the peace plan that is out there, and this is another uh, uh, way of understanding, there's a lot of talk of peace and safety, there's a lot of talk of peace, 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 but there is no peace. There's um, the time of, of the woman's travail is at hand, all right, which the woman is, I've shared this before, it's Jacob, it's Israel, all right? The woman is Jacob, which is the time of Jacob's trouble, which is Israel, all right? So the travail is at hand. It's not good that the missiles have been launched from Gaza being that just a week ago we were hearing about some sort of a, a, um, a peace agreement between Hamas and uh, if they would have signed this agreement that Israel would open up the, uh, the blockade by 70%. Egypt was getting involved and working towards this. Qatar was getting involved and working towards this. Um, this is something that they're trying to do. They're trying to bring peace in the Middle East, and every time they try to bring peace, it seems like sudden destruction comes, okay? Uh, if you're living in an area where their missiles are launched and you hear the sirens go off, you're thinking sudden destruction, all right? But you don't know until the moment that that siren goes off that there's something about to happen. So we're not waiting for sirens to sound here in America and around the world. We're waiting for the trumpets to blow, all right? And that trumpet for us is going to be the rapture. That's what we're waiting for. And we are being patient. We are keeping the word because the word is in us. We have no other way to say this, but because we have kept the word of God's patience, which means salvation. So we've kept Jesus Christ as the word in our heart, and it is his salvation because we have kept uh, Jesus Christ, our salvation, in our heart, he will keep us from the whole hour. That's what Revelation 3.10 says. This whole hour is that seven-year period that's about to begin. That if it has not already begun, which I do believe it has, but we can go either way on that. You can say it hasn't begun. I can say it did. Who cares? There's a period of time of seven years that's going to take place. All right? Not three and a half. There, there's... A lot of talk about three and a half, and we can look at it that way too, okay? I used to think that way as well. But bottom line is there's a period of time. Forget about the, the numbers. There's a period of time that has to take place to bring the uh, Jacob and Israel, all right, to the point, being the woman, to the point of having the desire to be delivered from, go back to the thought of the time of Jacob's trouble. They will have a period of time that they will desire to be finally delivered from. That point comes at the midpoint of the seven years, you see? That's, that's the way that works. So that's why we know there's a seven-year period because they have to have a short period of time, three, three and a half, three years, whatever, to take place, all right? So that at the midpoint of that, when the temple is built, remember, they're, re they're ready to build the temple, all right? That's... that's on the table. Everything is on the table at this point. The only thing that's not come yet is the confirming of this agreement. To confirm an agreement, to make strong or strengthen agreement. But the the plan has already been placed out there as of June. All right? That's important to remember. When was the plan brought around to Jordan, Qatar, all the Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia and Egypt? June. Jerry Kushner 
Jason Greenblatt, June. All right, followed up by a man by uh, that belongs to the British throne, that is second in line according to some things, to take the throne after Prince Charles. But because of Prince Charles marrying Carmela, he's not in line to take the throne. So the power of Britain belongs to Prince William. So Prince William happened to show up right after that, or during the time of Jared Kushner and Jason Greenblatt being in the Middle East, and it wasn't just for tea, and he went to the same places, Jordan, Qatar, Arab Emirates, and Saudi Arabia and Egypt. All right? So first time ever as well. Born on the very day of June 21st. A lot of, lot of thought involved. It, it could be him, it could be Jared, it could be a number of others. The fact is that the one that the Jews will accept as this uh, anointed one, this Mashiach, has to have Jewish blood, has to have a connection. Uh, the, the, the lineage has to go back. And we all know, if you've done any study, that Prince, the uh, royals, Prince William especially, uh, his blood goes back to the uh, Jewish line. All right, back to uh, King David, I believe, to Jesse, I even think. But at any rate, uh, well, so and also Jared Kushner, his his he's Jewish. All right, we don't know where his line goes from, but last name being Kushner, there's another thought, Kush. <laughs> Just a thought. At any rate, brothers and sisters. The timing from the date of September 8th, 1968, plus 49 years and 62 weeks, comes to Friday, November the 16th. It's all I'm going to say. And it does say after 62 weeks, so it could be a week after, you know, a month, maybe, I don't know. But it says 62 weeks, and you can't times the, not using that prophecy, you can't times 62 uh, by 7 in the same way that you did it with the 7 weeks, all right? 7 times 7, 49 years, but you can't get 434 years out of uh, where we are now, all right? So as application goes, this is uh, as close as you can get to a time including the timing from the 483 years, which would be the full amount of, of time, leaving the balance of seven, the last seven, in 2018. So one identifies the general time from 1535. I don't have an actual month for that, but 1535 is the, you can look it up, and it's on Wikipedia, that he started to build the walls, and it was after this dream and all that. You got to look into the, into uh, uh, Suleiman the Magnificent. All right, you'll find it. Anyway, fifteen thirty-five was the time timing. All right, that just brings us four hundred eighty-three years, twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen's got, I don't know, where is it? Let me give you a, a, an amount of time. Oh. Put it this way, on the 21st of November this year, which is next week, not this week, if we should go to the 21-0 America again, all right? Remember, today, the 14th is 21, 21, uh, of 21st of the seventh month, if Michael Shabbat studies is correct, all right? Which it, there's, it's likely. The likelihood of him being correct is more than likely, all right? Because of the, you have to watch the video, you'll, you'll get that that understanding. At any rate, a week later from today, the 21st of November is again, it's only 40 days left to this year. All right? So we're definitely closing in on that day, brothers and sisters, and we have everything to be thankful for, even though it would be hard to go past, go, you know, this Thanksgiving is going to be a difficult time. Because especially the way the world is. So I'm hoping that the rapture happens between now and Friday. All right? Let's hope today. Not looking at any particular day, but it's just that, that the 62 weeks ends on Friday. So be watching because something's got to happen very shortly. It's already happening. It's not like things aren't happening. They're happening. 
at like breakneck speed, it seems like you wake up every morning and something else is burning or someone launched missiles or there's an earthquake in the ocean or, you know, no tsunami warning. <laughs> Things are just happening quickly. Bam, 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 bam. And it's getting louder and louder and louder and clearer and clearer and clearer. All right. So be blessed today. Just take one day at a time. That's all you require. Just take this day. Don't look to tomorrow. Look to today. The Lord can come at any moment today. All right? So be blessed and just know that I love you and I'm thankful that I, I have you friends and, and family out there that I can share with and tell you what's on my mind. And uh, uh, thank you, Lord, for, for, for helping me to study and, and to be able to read and, and, and speak properly. And sometimes I stumble on my words, but forgive me for that. But I, I do love you, Lord, and I praise, I praise your precious name, and I worship your name. And I'm looking forward to your coming, as we all are. As we all are. So, Father, just watch over us today, and let your, let your hand of favor and blessing and grace and mercy be upon us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you, brothers and sisters. God bless.